never doubt that a small group of committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. To some, the world is filled with war, hatred, violence, and hopelessness. But together, we have the power to fill this world with kindness, trust, hope, and love. In honor of World Kindness Day, join LifeVest Inside and thousands of others around the globe one day as we wave our flags united in the dance for kindness. So here are the details. On November 8, 2015, get psyched for a worldwide freeze mob flash mob. Yeah, you heard right, worldwide. I'm talking about from the US to Australia, Canada to Singapore, England to Chile, India to Brazil, with more locations being added by the minute. Last year's event took place in over 80 cities, spanning across 30 countries, with over 10,000 participants. Now's your chance to take part. Want to get involved? Click on the link below to become part of the Kindness Revolution or head to danceforkindness.com. We need your voice as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blogs, campuses, local papers, your dinner table. Let's make kindness go viral. Become part of the change you wish to see in the world by taking a stand and dancing for kindness. Because kindness does in fact keep the world afloat. And remember, Never doubt that a small group of committed dancers can change the world. November 8th, 2015. Pass it on. My name is Peter Scolari. Yeah, Peter! Yes, that's correct. <laughs> welcome, welcome tonight. We're so glad you're here. We're going to say thank you a lot tonight. We're going to say thank you for being here. Uh, we can't do it without you. Um, some of you may know, uh, know me as an actor. Probably far fewer know me as a unicyclist. <clears throat> I see a lot of young people in the room tonight. And so I won't mention that 35 years ago, as bartender Kevin was just sharing with me, I co-starred with Tom Hanks on a TV series called Bosom Buddies. I'm not going to mention it. You're not going to get that out of me. I'm not going to share it. It was so long ago that when we filmed the TV show, there was actually film in the camera. We are life vest inside. It's a real honor for me to be a part of this with the fearless founder, an extraordinary woman who I'm going to bring out and introduce to you all. Some of you know her already as Orly Waba. Um, I don't get involved in too many uh, programs outside of my children's school, uh, but this one is different. And I'm really excited to be here tonight. We're going to try and let you know us a little bit better and what we're doing. We're going to promote Dance for Kindness Day, as you just saw in this incredible video package on November 8th, which is a Sunday right here in, in New York City. But it's not only in New York City. It's going to be, as the package uh, revealed, in more than 80 cities in as many as 30 countries around the world. But I'm, I, Orly, I'm, I'm pretty sure not in Kazakhstan. Am I right? Oh, we got Kazakhstan. We got it. We got, it. Yeah. got but probably not Serbia. No. We got it. Oh, we got. We got it. This is a gag that we've, we're setting up. We hope you enjoy it. But uh, but I'm sure not Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam's actually one of our best and craziest locations. All right. <laughs> well, it's about time. <laughs> I, uh, we're at 50. I did not. I did not know that 50 countries. How about the U.S. of A? Yeah, that's you all. That's you all. Um, Orly asked me to give a little sense of, uh, of a mission statement, you might say. So late last night as I crammed as much uh, as I could into my shallow mind about what this is all about that runs so very, very deep, 
it occurred to me to share a couple of things with you, um, one of which originates in the package. When, uh, when we were children and we thought we could change the world, that, uh, that really touched me very, very deeply. And the statement, never doubt that a small group of committed people, later in the package, committed dancers could change the world, that's, uh, that's pretty incredible. Life Vest Inside is a not-for-profit organization. It's a worldwide movement of understanding and compassion. I added into that, uh, that is dedicated to reaching as many people as possible in as many places as possible in a meaningful and substantive way. That's what Life Vest Inside is. And you'll know us a little bit better as you know more of us. So the last sort of uh, sentiment that I, uh, or you might, think of it more as a metaphor that I wanted to share with you tonight as it occurred to me uh, last night that uh, kindness, which is what the organization is all about, is often uh, taken for a sentiment only, a concept perhaps at, at its best. But it occurs to me that in being involved with Life Vest Inside and advocating uh, and inviting you all to be a part of Dance for Kindness Day on November 8th, that we might think of kindness more uh, as an elemental strength. And in that respect, I likened it to water. Because I had an eighth grade chemistry teacher who told me that water was the universal solvent. And I said, you know, in my junior high school arrogance, I said, you, you mean more than sulfuric acid? He said, yes. And he said, I said, more than hydrochloric acid? And he said, yes. The only difference is that water takes time, but no matter what you put in water, over time, it will dissolve any hard substance. So too can kindness over time and in volume and in distribution dissolve any hard substance. That's what we're all here uh, to experience and to find out more about. So that's just, that's just my little personal notation from eighth grade chemistry class. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I think, uh, Orly, if I'm not mistaken, I, I have a clipboard here, you've probably noticed. <laughs> About a hand for the clipboard technology that we're using tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to uh, introduce, I want to introduce to you uh, this wonderful young, talented performer who will be the first of a few to perform for you here tonight. Charles Preston, who won the uh, anthem contest for Dance for Kindness last year, written a song called Revolution of Love. Please welcome Charles Preston. Thank you, buddy. I'll see you in a minute. Ourselves in everyone. 
join us in a revolution of love. Ooh. Let's congregate instead of spreading hate and raise the frequencies of love and start to pave the way for all the violence to cease we must agree to disagree to grow beyond power and greed with selflessness we'll plant the seed this is our world and the revolution has begun with open hearts we can see ourselves in everyone come and join us in a revolution of love Choose acceptance over fighting every one is a part of your With open hearts we can see ourselves in everyone Come and join us in a revolution of love Charles Preston, ladies and gentlemen, wow. Thank you. Thank you, thanks so much. Can you stick around a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, we'd really like that. I think I'm supposed to do a few up here. I'd love it if you would. What a fantastic voice and what a beautiful song and what a beautiful guitar. I'll give you $50, <laughs> I'll get 100, I'll give you $100 for it. What is this beautiful guitar? It's a Taylor, uh, I believe it's eight. 14, which means it's a it's jumbo. Very expensive. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big, it's a big guitar, isn't it? Yeah. For a big yeah. talent. It's a big, loud guitar. It's wonderful. Do um, you mind if I ask you a few questions? Absolutely not. I asked. Uh, we met backstage briefly, and I asked Charles if anybody calls him Charlie, and uh, I got no response. Does anyone, <laughs> does anyone call you Charlie and live to tell the tale? Yeah, some people. It's Charles is like one of those names that has 50 nicknames, so mm -hmm. people just call me whatever they want. Uh, I think Charles is where I'm going to go with this. <laughs> He's got a very big guitar. <laughs> Thanks so much for being with us here tonight. I don't know, maybe it's an obvious question, but I'm going to ask it anyway about inspiration. What kind of inspiration uh, did you work with to write a song this beautiful? Oh, man. Well, it was um, a lot having to do with knowing that, like, everyone around the world was gonna hear the song. So it was like my one chance to say something that I really thought a lot of people would 
connect with. And it was my take on what the organization stands for in lyrics, basically. It's an amazing thing, you know. <laughs> um, I'm of a mind that you can't really import kindness easily. Um, I guess what I'm saying is that maybe that's something uh, that is resident in us. Um, but that doesn't mean because the Life Vest Inside organization and Orly Waba reach out to you and say, uh, you know, let's see what you got, that you can go get it and manifest something as beautiful and artistic as you have. I commend you uh, for that. Um, I know we wanted to talk, too, about uh, an album uh, that yeah. is, a, is sort of a, a, a compilation. It's called Connect. Connect 2015, yeah. Um, maybe sort of a, di a little bit of a different commission in, in a sense with this. Orly and I were talking about uh, Connect uh, backstage a little while ago, and it's dance music. Yeah. Um, so how does that, um, wh what sort of um, mission statement is that? How does that work for you as, as a composer? It's, you know, it's a compilation of all the, all the past flash mobs and freeze mob songs. And um, it was really cool because we got to work with a really talented producer out in L.A. to do, like, several different versions of my yeah, yeah. song. Mm -hmm. So there's, like, a band version, and then there's the acoustic version, and then there's the, the crazy flash mob version. Yeah. So that was really fun to, like, explore. We have a, um, uh, spoiler alert, we have um, a music video uh, of Revolution of Love. You've heard the... You're here tonight. Thanks so much. You've heard the acoustic version. In a little while, um, we'll bring Orly out, too, uh, and things will really get wonderful. Um, you'll also, she'll introduce a music video of Revolution of Love. But I'm hoping, yeah. Charles, while you're still here, that maybe we can, um, uh, I, along with this wonderful audience, that we can compel you to maybe perform a couple of more songs for us here tonight. Would you do that? Yes, I'd be happy to. Sir, the stage is yours. Thanks so much. Charles Preston. Thank you. Great. Okay, so here we go. Teach them to think for themselves So everything is designed To turn off your mind And make your spirit blind How long must this go on Before we evolve And all of the criminals that rule the world Could one day be you and me All oh, hail our great society Help yourself and watch the others sink or swim I'm ready for something else We could use our technology to progress the greater good of humankind instead of material wealth. So everything is designed 
to turn off your mind and make your spirit blind how long must this go on before we evolve beyond this way of life cause we to see And all of the criminals that rule the world Could one day be you and me But so And all of the criminals that rule the world Could one day be you and me We are the ones who shape the future Thank you. Yeah, one more, one more hand for Charles Preston. What a fantastic performer and what a fantastic message. And I really appreciate uh, a song that goes back to uh, when I was Charles's age. <clears throat> Hey, so just when you thought it couldn't get any better, it does, it gets better, because I have uh, the distinct honor and pleasure to introduce my, one of my new best friends. And I'm, uh, I'm going to make up a word here. I, I'm kind of a sociophobe. Uh, it's, a, it's a paradox. I, I, I love people. I, I enjoy being with people, except that I, I can hardly bear it. <laughs> True story. And... Uh, and so uh, at, at, at this time in my life, uh, when, I, when, I, when I make a friend, it's, um, it's an exception uh, because I have wonderful friends. I have a couple of friends who are so misguided that they would walk into a hail of taxi cabs to protect me. Um, and I'm very lucky in that way. Uh, all the more luckier that, uh, that this young lady has come into my life. So without further ado, um, please uh, say hello to the founder of Life Vest Inside and what it's all about, Orly Waba, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up again for Peter Scolari now. Come on, guys. Come on now. There we go. I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, it really means a tremendous amount to me. And uh, even though people do thank yous usually at the end of the program, I do things a little bit different. I, you know, I really believe in my heart of hearts that showing gratitude and thanking people, especially when, you know, there's so much more that this organization can grow, but the people that are there standing by your side through and through. And so there are very, there are very important thank yous that I'd like to say right now before we get to it. Cool? Yeah. So first off, I'd like to thank our amazing sponsors because the truth of the matter is, that without the sponsors, we would not be able to be here tonight and Dance for Kindness 2015 wouldn't happen. That's pretty crazy. So I'd like to thank our kindness champion sponsor, Dignity Health, which is an amazing, amazing health insurance organization that truly, truly and deeply cares about their people. 
So Dignity Health, you guys are awesome. I love you. I'd also like to thank some of our other sponsors uh, that are right up here on the board. iHome, Bread's Bakery that provided all that awesome food. How good was that? How great was that food? Guys, it's awesome. Coming to New York City, definitely check out Bread's Bakery. Uh, two exists, two degree food, good caramel. Big, big shout out to the YouTube studios because I love these people more than I can begin to tell you. They're so amazing. American Eagle, JetBlue, Hintmint, Broadway Dance Center, and so many, many, many more. I'd also like to mention our charity partner. So this year what we've done, guys, you know, although we're a nonprofit and we, we do take, you know, we take donations, it's very, very important to be able to give back, even if you don't have a lot to give. And so this year, we decided to enlist a charity partner, 10% of all the proceeds from Dance for Kindness. I mean, the money coming in from sponsors, money coming in from registration, the money coming in from purchasing merchandise on the Dance for Kindness shop, danceforkindness.com forward slash shop. <laughs> yes. All of that money, 10% of all that money goes directly to an amazing charity partner called the Pay It Forward Foundation. Now, this organization was founded by a wonderful woman, Catherine Ryan Hyde. I guarantee you guys know who she is, even though you'd think you may not know her. She wrote the book, Pay It Forward. Yes, that is the book that the movie was based on. Amazing, amazing woman and the executive director, David Goodwin. And what they've done this year is they've actually gifted forward to us 1,500 books, copies of Pay It Forward that we are going to be distributing throughout the US in various locations, and guess what, guys? You guys are gonna receive ones tonight in our gift forward bears with a lot of other cool products from our sponsors, plus tons and tons of gift codes so you guys can get some cool gifts to pay it forward in your own way, especially in time for the holiday season by using the promo code DFK2015. So I'd love to thank uh, the uh, Pay It Forward Foundation for coming on board. What they basically do is their mission is to try and get as many copies of Pay It Forward out there into the hands of children, into the hands of adults, and show people the beauty there is in just doing a simple, simple act of kindness. There are a few other things I'd like to give here. Um, a very special thank you to all the staff, all the tech staff here in the room. Let's give it up for them, guys. <laughs> Big shout out to uh, a new friend of mine, Craig Bundy on sound. Buddy, you are awesome. I'd like to thank Keith, our stage manager, Adrian, Shane. Let's give it up for DJ Scott Wells over there, playing the tunes that we love. All the actors from the, from the uh, Dance for Kindness teaser that you saw, as well as the Revolution of Love video that we're going to see very shortly. And a big shout out to, of course, you know, everybody. Guys, hopefully you're all liking the drinks out there. I mean, I, I only drink like, you know, hot chocolate and, you know, sometimes I do cold chocolate. But let's give it up for Kevin, for Kevin, our awesome, awesome bartender. A few personal thank yous to my mom, my dad, and my awesome family that's here, my Auntie Belzy. Auntie Belzy. I gotta tell you, my parents are so beyond amazing. They allow me to turn our house into a warehouse, uh, packaging 1,500 bags, seriously, 1,500 bags. My house has been everything but actually a house, and I wanna thank my parents for not kicking me out yet. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Uh, I'd also like to thank Jimmy Locust and LPAC, Locust Performing Arts Center, for being so super awesome. Uh, a few more thank yous, I promise I'm not gonna go on forever and ever and ever. There are some people that are actually not here in the room tonight but they are a very, very, very big part of what makes Life Best Inside actually work. And uh, those people are Arvind, who is our amazing, awesome developer. Uh, Kim White, our mobile developer. Alon Aaron, Mark Dorflinger that Charles mentioned earlier. What a phenomenal, phenomenal producer. Uh, Jake Antelis that also helped out with the production of this year's. Jake, shout out to you, Jake. You're super awesome. And of course, Andre Lloyd. And I'd also like to give a special mention to Donnie Morehouse and to Jules Filer for all their amazing PR that they've done for Life Fest Inside. And again, like I said, huge shout out to YouTube Studios. Julia, if you're here in the room, Julia, I absolutely love you. Julia, Joe, Scott, uh, Jaime, Carlos, you guys are super fantastic. David Horgan and Bing, thank you so much for being here. Uh, they were a very, very, very big part of helping to make so much of this happen. And actually, they're the reason why I met this awesome guy right here over there in the corner, Peter Scaleri. So I want to thank them very, very much. Now, no organization can actually run without the people behind the scenes, like the people that are doing the nitty-gritty work, you know, like those people. 
They're awesome. So I want to give it up to our staff members, Shelby, Matt, David, Fred, Shen Yen, Alejandra, Shelly, the photographer that's here tonight, Danielle Rivera, Jerry, Justin, Mordechai, and the awesome, I want to mention, girls from Flatbush and Mag and David High School that came to my house the other day to package 1,500 bags. It was absolutely wild. Um, and a few more very special thank yous we have in the room. Somebody that has been with me for, I don't even know how many years it's been at this point. He's been choreographing the dance, but guys, he doesn't just choreograph a dance. He's been a huge, huge friend and supporter of mine. Literally there for me, no matter how bad things got. I can't begin to explain to you. And he's connecting with people from all over the world where this event is happening. I'd like to give a very, very, very big shout out to, not only to an amazing choreographer, but to an amazing friend, Anthony Giorgio. I love you so much. Thank you. This next thank you, um, so you guys know Charles Preston, right? You know Charles Preston? So Charles isn't just the person that performed last year's Dance for Kindness anthem song. Some of you that don't know, Charles is actually the art director of Life Fest Inside. I had the pleasure of connecting with him through my really awesome friend, Tori, who's here. Um, and Charles has been I like to call him he, my, kind of, my uh, partner in kindness over these past three years. Uh, hearing you play, Charles, you know I'm your biggest groupie. If some of you are watching me during his songs, I was mouthing every single word. That's me. And um, he's been such an amazing support. And I wasn't going to say this, but it's the first time I'm actually going to mention it. Charles is going to be moving on from Life Fest Inside just within the next couple weeks. And I just want to wish you all the very best of luck, Charles. Because... Um, To me, you're more than just the art director of an organization. You've been my partner in this. And uh, honestly, seeing you play up here made me take a step back and wonder, look back on all the, the years that we've had and all the times that we've had. And I'll know that wherever this organization goes and however far and however much it grows, and I know it will, I'm never going to forget the time and the dedication that you put into this. So I want to thank you from the very bottom of my heart. And of course, no awesome tech crew can be complete without um, someone who's amazing that I actually found his video on YouTube when I was searching. Who here loves a few good men? I absolutely love a few good men. We want the truth. Okay, so I was actually looking up and I found this amazing, amazing video graphics guy who became way more than just that to me. Uh, he became an amazing friend and truly my partner. Uh, he's responsible for so many of the videos that you guys watch, like almost all of them. I would like to thank Ari Grunswig. And Imagination Creations is amazing. Let's give it up for Ari. Ari, I love you so much. You make this all possible for me. And the last thank you, you're like, oh my goodness, when is she gonna thank me? I know. The last thank you that I'd like to mention uh, on top of all the group leaders and everybody taking part in Dance for Kindness is our very, very, very special host who's here tonight. And I know Peter said, you said so many fantastic things about me, but I want you to know that he's the real deal. This is a guy with a genuine heart that truly cares about this organization and really believes that the ability to make a difference in this world is very, very much possible. And because of you, Peter, because of people like you that take a stand and actually use their voice, because we all have a voice, but the question is, how are we using it? But when we use our voice to truly make a difference and say that that's something we believe in and we're going to stand by it, we have the ability to inspire so many, so many more millions of people. So, Peter, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and for connecting with me at such a deep level. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, just a bit about Dance for Kindness. I know you guys are here. Some of you know about Life Fest Inside, some of you may not. So as Peter said, we're a nonprofit and our whole mission is to inspire, empower, and train people of all backgrounds to lead with kindness. Guys, to show each and every person how freaking awesome and amazing they are. And when I say that, I really mean each and every one of you, even if you can't see it, because I know how hard it is for us to see that sometimes. Dance for Kindness, when it started in 2012, without even a website, without just like me behind my computer saying, hey guys, I want to try this really crazy thing. Maybe I'll get to share the story behind this Dance for Kindness event at another time. It was amazing the kind of response that we got. And growing in these past four years to be in now 50 countries, over 100 cities, with group leaders from all over the world. Do you know why they come together? They come together for kindness. The purpose of Dance for Kindness is to show the world that regardless of the differences in race, religion, culture, ethnicity, 
background. Guys, regardless of all the reasons that, you know, people say and media maybe shows us why we should war and hate against one another, the common thread that ties us all together is kindness. And if we just stop, just stop sometimes and open our eyes and take notice to that and create dialogue with people, we'd be able to see that changing the world in a positive way is not just possible, but it's actually within each and every one of our hands. That's what Dance for Kindness is about. And I think every single one of us sitting in the room here today, every one of us watching us at home tonight can you know, attest to the fact that in today's world, with everything that's going on, we definitely need a bit more kindness. And I know that uh, I'm not naive to see all the difficult things that are happening in the world. But one thing that I've definitely learned is that kindness has the ability to break down all sorts of barriers. But it all starts with each and every one of us recognizing our own value. Because let's be honest, the more we recognize the value within ourselves and realize how awesome we are, the easier it is to see the value in others. The easier it is to, to recognize that even though we're different, it's those differences that we should celebrate. It's not a reason to war. It's a reason to come together and celebrate. And so, it is my pleasure and my honor right now to introduce the next Life Fest Inside music video. First being Kindness Boomerang, which I'm sure so many of you have seen, reached over 80 million people globally. How? I have no idea. And so the next thing that we're about to watch is the music video for Charles Preston's song, Revolution of Love. Enjoy.
you all see and realize that the whole purpose of you know what we're doing here with life s inside the purpose of the video is really everyone is craving to be seen guys it's something that each and every one of us can do to just see people when we walk down the street when we walk into somewhere that actually see people and connect with them in a really different sort of way that's the purpose of uh, revolution of love really awesome amazing job thank you so much everybody that took part in this making this video come into existence. You know, Revolution of Love, just to tell you a little bit of a back, quick backstory. Last summer we sat down and we're like, all right, we want to create our own song, our own anthem song for Dance for Kindness. So we reached out and we got four people that you know, we had connected with and we said, all right, create a song and we're going to have people vote on it. This year what we did is we opened it up and we said, you know what, why are we only reaching out to a few you know, musicians and saying, hey, try and create a song for, you know, that could be this year's potential worldwide anthem. So we opened it up to the world and people from all over the world submitted songs. And the idea was we were gonna take one of the songs and we we're gonna open up for public voting. And whichever song had the most votes would be this coming year, Dance for Kindness 2015's Worldwide Anthem. I'm very, very, very excited to have with us today the Dance for Kindness 2015 Worldwide Anthem winner, Yaakov Feldstein. Now, before I bring Yaakov up onto the stage, just a little bit about him. You know, when Yaakov first won, and I got to tell you, the race was insanely, insanely close. When Yaakov first won, I sat down with him and I started talking to him about kindness, about the organization, and he started telling me what he does. 
Jakob happens to work at a camp called Camp Hask. We got some Camp Hask people in the house. It is a camp for uh, children and adults with special needs. And he started telling me and sharing with me the experiences. And I said, wow, I can't imagine having chosen a better anthem winner than someone that doesn't just you know, speak words of kindness, or uh, I should say sing words of kindness, but someone who lives words of kindness through and through. So it is in my honor very shortly to introduce Yaakov. But first, let's hear a little bit more about what Yaakov thinks about the importance of kindness. From the first, first minute in, in the morning when we're waking up and our campers are waking up and uh, going through every single uh, basic need that, that we might take for granted, and we do it for somebody else. We help them eat, we help them dress, we help them swim, we help them go to sleep, um, and everything in between, and uh, activities and sports and, and all sorts of things. Uh, we're always there making sure that other people can have a great time, which is really unbelievable. I'll just give you a, a short example. Um, recently, there was a basketball game between Camp Hask and, uh, and another camp with, uh, with kids with special needs that came. And the campers from the two camps played each other. And it was absolutely unbelievable to see because you have, uh, you have a lot of people packed into this gym. You have staff members, you have campers from both camps, and everybody's just really excited that they have the opportunity to play a game of basketball. Okay? Now, granted, maybe we're not keeping the score so closely, and uh, maybe not every rule of the game of basketball is being kept very strictly, but the fact that any time any camper gets a hold of the ball or puts up a shot or runs from one side to the other, the entire place goes wild. It's unbelievable to watch, and that, in my mind, is, is an unbelievable act of kindness because we have the opportunity to put a smile on somebody else's face. Let's put our hands together one more time as we call to the stage Dance for Kindness 2015 anthem winner, Jakob Feldstein. First of all, I just want to say thank you to, uh, to everybody. First of all, everybody here, uh, especially my friends that are here. My friends that are here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There was an absolutely ridiculous amount of support that I saw throughout the anthem contest and the, all the voting and sharing. And it, there was support from people that I didn't even know from all over the world, which was really um, a crazy feeling and a flattering feeling. And uh, it's, it, it really feels amazing that people um, support me, support what I do, and uh, support the idea of kindness, which is, uh, you know, something that I'm thankful for the opportunity to be able to have a part in that as well, uh, to make some sort of positive impact on the world through, uh, through my music. So thank you to everybody that's here. Thank you to everybody that showed support throughout the whole, uh, the whole thing. And uh, thank you to Orly, to Peter, to Ari, Charles, everybody, that, uh, everybody that's here. David, David Ziff over here, back me up. And uh, let's bring some more light to the world, right? Put on a smile for those who don't And change the world for those who won't Today's our day to share a dream The power lies in our belief Let's speak for all of those who can't And rise for those who cannot stand Inside we all shine like the sun It's time to let it out together as one More light, more love Everything we're made up of is light Hold on tight through it all Pick the whole world up when you see it fall and shine more light. Let's give our love to those in need and change the headlines that we read. 
We all want peace, this is our chance Unite the world through song and dance There is a space that you can fill Look deep within, you'll find the skill Better to fail than never try. Follow your heart, and you will glimmer and shine with more light, more love. Everything we're made up of is light. Hold on tight through it all. Pick the whole world up when you see it fall and shine. Don't need a cape to be a hero. It's more heroic to teach others to fly. An act of kindness, no matter how small, creates a ripple that goes on and on. Whoa. so much everybody thank you thank you david ziff beautiful thank you so much thank you david you made this guitar sound like a mandolin <laughs> just gorgeous it reminds me of pete seeger who would be very proud to be here tonight and be a part of this well uh i want to remind everyone that on that fabulous date pending november 8th uh Dance for Kindness Day right here out of Times Square. We've asked and have gotten a positive response from Yaakov to come and perform there. Is that still true, sir? Are you still going to join us on that day? I believe so. I'll Orly be was sitting next to you. All right. I'll think. see you there. One more hand for, for these wonderful musicians. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. All right, we're back. <laughs> short, short break. Just a short moment. I want to tell you, <laughs> I want to tell you spontaneously and quickly about. Uh, he missed me. He missed me. Uh, he did. I did. Indeed, we both did. Uh, both of me. Uh, what is a dance dare? You might ask. Well, if you hadn't, uh, I wouldn't know how to respond. But I do because I I thought about it, and I've taken the dance for kindness dare. Uh, thank you, both of you. <laughs> thank you, Anthony, for backing my play on that. No, I really appreciate it. Well, in the dance there, which if you, if you go to YouTube or the Dance for Kindness website, you'll, you might see mine there. You know, you identify yourself. My name is Peter Scolari. I, I'm from Manhattan, and this is how dance moves me. And at that moment, I break into spontaneous dance. But I don't want to do it tonight. I, I think, well, I... On, thank you. I wanted to do a little mentalist trick and see if I could get some dancers up here. Uh, sir, with the glasses here right in front of me, I'm thinking of a number between one and 100. Would you see if you can divine it? 73 is correct, my God, come on up. Please, come join me. Uh, young lady here in front, uh, I, I'm wondering if you can guess 
what my favorite color is, just if you, oh my God. Two for two, would you come up and join us? I need one more. Uh, in the back, I see a, a, a young woman with her uh, hands around her knees in what seems to be a nimble pose. Do you, you, no, don't look to your right. I was actually talking to you right there. Yes, what is your favorite color? That is correct. Please come up. My God, I got three. We're going to do, uh, thank you so much. Uh, let me say hi to each one of you. What is your name, dear? Tori. Tori, welcome to the stage. Thanks so much for putting up with me, sir. How about you? What is your name, sir? Mikkel. Mikkel. All right. Wonderful. Tori, Mikkel, and yes, you're very tall. Yes, I have heels on. Yes, so do I, and it doesn't help. It's okay. And what is your name? Kate. Kate, Kate, Tori, and Mikkel. All right, well, let's get to know them a little bit. Um, we know their first names, but I'm going to ask you, are you ready for this? Can you do this? Yes. You're here. Come on. It's a, it's a great night. Uh, would you tell me your, your full name, Tori, please? Sure. Tori Doobie. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Uh, I was born in New Hampshire, but I've lived in New York for nine years. I feel like Drew Carey all of a sudden. I don't know why. <laughs> Except thinner. Uh, do you feel like uh, sort of expressing how uh, Dance for Kindness moves and motivates you? Yes. And I, and I hope that the audience will give you a huge spontaneous round of applause. <laughs> and uh, I'll hold the mic, but why don't you go ahead and say... Okay. I'm Tori Doobie from uh, Manhattan, and this is how kindness moves me. Oh, wow. My you again. I'm sorry, what about your boyfriend? My boyfriend's the DJ. So I think Scott Wells, ladies and gentlemen. I did not know that we have never, we've never met before, is that right? Right. I met Scott just a little while ago. Scott, thank you. I didn't give you a cue, but thank goodness Scott picked it up. Mikkel, how are you? Still with us? I'm here. <laughs> I know, that's a tough act to follow. Why don't you tell us your full name, where you're from, and, and then maybe we can move forward from there. Uh, okay, um, my name's Mikkel, a.k.a. Michael Joseph Peter Dykus, but you can just call me Mikkel. I'm originally from uh, San Francisco Bay Area. I've lived in New York City since 1989. How about a big round of applause for Mikkel? And I'm going to cue, uh, I'm going to ask Scott Wells to scratch the vinyl. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Wow. I'm so glad I came out tonight. That's incredible. <laughs> and how about your full name, dear, and where you're from? I'm Kate Wagner, and I'm from Florida. All right, Kate. Scott, let it rip. Wow. This is, I, I, thank goodness I'm not the judge. I'm just the guy that's going to hold his hand up over the head of Tori from originally New Hampshire. How about Tori here? It's going to be tough. How about Mikhail, ladies and gentlemen? Wow. And finally, if I can reach that high, how about Kate? I got to say, with all due respect to my, my female brethren, I think Mikkel is our winner of the Dance for Kindness contest. Thank you so much, guys. Take your seats. But Mikkel, stay for a second. Mikkel, we have... I know, now I really am Drew Carey. After the diet. Um, thanks, Orly. He's a friend of mine, Drew is. It's all right, I can make the, the fat joke. This is a... I crafted this late last night with my Swiss Army knife and a bunch of balsa wood. It is a... Take a look at this, folks. It's a life vest inside tea box. If you open it up, this is from Mikkel. Give him another round of applause. You see, you can put your tea in there, if that's what you're calling it. <laughs> Mikkel, thank you so much. Congratulations. Let's bring Orly Waba back up here, tell you a little bit about group leaders. 
You know, I gotta say, Peter, I absolutely that, that was that was fantastic. Yeah. Mikel wow. actually happens to be one of our awesome flaggers in New York City. Let's give it up for the flaggers. Wow. You got you're gonna come and see him in flagging I, on uh, I will no, now. He on November eighth. He had very tough competition and oh, he just that was, walked that was with pretty it. Pretty wild. He with I it. loved it. I loved it. Incredible. So you know, even though I love I absolutely love the dance there, you know. The dancing part isn't even my favorite part of the whole entire Dance for Kindness. No, it isn't. Some people probably think I'm nuts. They're like, Orly, it's Dance for Kindness. How could the dance part dance not be, especially Anthony, I am going to get killed later for that. But, yeah. But it's not, you said it's not it's, your it's, favorite. It's, it's, I mean, I love it. You love it's, it. I love it's it. It's awesome. It's awesome. You know, but. Is that a vowel? Actually, awesome. awesome. I it's love awesome. that. I love the way you talk. Yeah, it's because I have the Brooklyn accent. Hey, forget about the it. The best is when some people tell me, are you from London? I'm like, what? So, I'm telling you, some people say that. It's crazy. But really, it's not even the dance part. I, I, you know, I absolutely love it. Imagine seeing people come together, standing there and watching people from literally all over the world come together on the same day to dance the same dance, same song, all on the same day. You think, wow, that's pretty awesome. Australia? Yeah, Australia. Wow. Canada? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Canada, Canada, of course. Italy? Yeah, Italy. England? Okay, we're going to go on forever. I'm sorry. Come on. We got Mexico. 50 countries. You want to keep on uh, going now? It's not just me. Yes, from the Mexico audience that... is on the list. You cannot, yes. you cannot stump her. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But the truth of the matter is there's something that's far more exciting to me wow. uh, than that. Wow. Can you guess it? Um, Come on now. Table tennis. Uh, softball from the audience. Thank oh, yes. You. That's very true. I do. No, but no, I, I'm, I'm stumped again. The truth of the matter is one of my favorite parts of this entire event is connecting with the awesome and amazing group leaders. I mean, these guys, oh, I these guys are people. Yeah, you know, you got it wrong. I should have given you a multiple choice. <laughs> I'd see if you've done better. But these guys are people from all over the world, fans, people just like you that have decided to take a step forward and say, you know what, I want to organize an event in my city. Some of them no, never organized an event in their life. Do you know how old we have? Seriously, the craziest range of group leaders. No way. I, I bet you can't imagine how young our youngest group leader is. Let's say, come uh, on. 16. Come on. 10. 10? 10 years old. Seriously, oh, come on. I'm on a Skype call. You know, they get, they get these handbooks, they read them, and I Skype with each and every group leader. Skype is like my best friend. They're chatting with I people from all over the world. I couldn't even read a handbook until I was 20. Oh, wow. You know, that's maybe what it was. Yeah. That's okay. I was slow. I, we'll forgive you. But the truth of the matter is it's pretty wild. These guys, you know, I meet with each and every one of them via Skype, and connecting with each of those group leaders is the most amazing part of this entire event. We have a closed Facebook group with people from all over the world, and really what it is, and Anthony, you can attest to it, they really are a family. I mean, the amount of support that is, that, you know, is given. Our oldest group leader, let's see if you can guess that one. Uh, 40, 50 years of age? Guys, 76. Oh, come on. No, Joe. Shut 76, the door. 76 years Get old. Out of Dodge. I was like having to teach people how to use computers. It was pretty cool. I, I, I was like, I'm the tech person since when? But yeah, it was really amazing. Uh, unbelievable to see people empowered to do these events. But even more so, I think the exciting part of it is seeing them come together and give each other support and encouragement because there are a lot of obstacles that they come across, people saying no to them. How many here have had people say no to us or no to our dreams? Guys, come on, I could raise both my hands, but then you won't be able to hear me because I have the mic in my hand. But seriously, there's, that happens so many times. And the group leaders coming together and sharing their, their amazing, their words of encouragement believing in each other to do these awesome, amazing feats. But I'm not going to talk anymore about the group leaders. I'm going to allow them to talk about themselves. I wish so, we had a video. I, you know, that if only I had a video. Let, let's roll that video. We have one? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> the experience is phenomenal. The magic that I actually got to experience. There were screams, and people were hugging each other, and people were celebrating. It was like, uh, my heart was blowing up. It is huge. It is so big. It's worldwide. It was absolutely overwhelming. Se puede tener esta conexión entre las personas, que cuando una las personas están pensando en el mismo objetivo, se puede lograr grandes cosas. And then you just look back on that day and figure out, wow, that was very awesome. That's, for me, it was great. In 2012, Life Essence Side's Worldwide Dance for Kindness was born. And with each passing year, we've been growing, with more countries and cities joining us. Life Us Inside is a nonprofit organization dedicated to empowering, inspiring, and training people from all backgrounds to lead with kindness. Every year, to kick off World Kindness Week, groups from across the globe unite under the banner of kindness to perform a kindness flash mob. All the people from all the world get united one day in the same hour dancing 
the same choreography with the same song to spread the message of kindness. Last year in 2014, we were in over 30 countries and 80 cities from around the world. The purpose of Dance for Kindness is to show that regardless of the difference in race, religion, culture, ethnicity, background, the common thread that unites us all is kindness. Anybody can organize Dance for Kindness. You have the support of Life Est Inside, the other group leaders, and the handbook. It makes it so easy. So how can you become a group leader? Are you organized and committed? Are you a team player? Are you passionate about making the world a better place? Then you're a natural born group leader. If I had to give an advice to a new group leader, I would tell him that anyone can do it. At Life Fest Inside, the group leaders are all connected. And the exchange of experience, I think that is, is really helpful. Especially if there's a new group leader, we're there to support them and we give them that, that system, that structure that, that encourages them to move on. Trabajar con Lifefest te da una sensación muy positiva de lo que estás haciendo acerca de tu vida. To accept this challenge of doing this, I think you have to be responsible. You have to be committed. You have to be flexible. As long as you're motivated and you want to promote kindness, then go for it and become a group leader. Here's what you have to do. Step one, apply online at danceforkindness.com. Step two, read the official Dance for Kindness group leader handbook. Step three, email us to confirm that you're up for the task at hand. Step four, watch the official Dance for Kindness behind the scenes tutorial video. Step five, time to chat. Schedule a Skype session with me and we'll get you set up to be officially listed as a Dance for Kindness group leader. You don't realize how many lives you've affected. You get a bond, a relationship, an energy. La experiencia con Life is Insight ha sido muy gratificante en mi vida. And it's tremendous to be able to take something and start it off and then watch it grow and grow and grow. I felt very happy and almost broke into tears when I saw all the people there. Being a group leader, changed a bit my view on people and how easy it is to make friends with people from different culture and different religion, ethnicity, uh, and, and I just realized that we had a lot and a lot of different things in common. It's a unique feeling that it's very difficult to explain. We are all the same in spite of our difference. Apply today at danceforkindness.com forward slash lead. I challenge myself to be a group leader and to transmit the meaning of kindness to people and try to encourage them to be kind with other people and to make them believe that we could all together change the world. Isn't Pretty awesome, great? these group leaders. I was right. That was awesome. I was awesome. That I'm was awesome. These, if these only we leaders. had group leaders here, though. That uh, you we know, could... Peter, I have to say, I have something very exciting to tell you. What? You didn't see it on your, it wasn't on your clipboard, huh? I don't have that here. Man, it wasn't there. We actually have three, three group leaders here. You have? You, we do, we do, we do. And I'd love to invite them onto the stage. Can Let... I see your clipboard? Yeah, can you want to see my clipboard? Here we go. You got it? Oh, I do have that. Oh, okay, fine. There you go. Okay. All right, I remember the, the words of my first acting teacher shared something so sensitively with me when I was first starting out. I wanted to share it with you right now. Get Please. off the stage. Oh, get off? Go. What? Go. Get off the stage. Come on now. I, I kid you not. Okay. He wants wanna, to get, you want to get to know the group leaders, don't I you? I want to meet, I'm calling out Reese Arthur. Is Reese Arthur here tonight? Reese, come on up, Reese. How about, how about Jessica Sorrentino? Right here on our stage tonight. No, you stay. I'm just kidding. I don't want you to go anywhere. I can I'm, go. You can get I'm to know them a little bit. You. Also, I'm feeling to raise, to raise the roof. To ra to raise Rolke. To raise Come on Rolke. Up. Come on up, guys. Come on up. Hi, Jessica. All right, Peter. I'm not. I'm not going to hog up the space. I'm going to let you get to know these guys. I speak to them all the time. Say hi to each other. Hi, Therese. Hi. We met backstage. So nice to see you. Hi, Reese Arthur. I, I, I didn't get a chance to meet you, but I do now. Um, I'm going to read a little bit about you. Reese, you're from Saratoga Springs, is that right? I am. That's in New York, is it not? Yeah, upstate New York. Very nice. Welcome. Welcome to the stage. Uh, I, I, come on over, Jessica. Don't be shy. <laughs> or be shy. I, 
I'm shy. <clears throat> Uh, Jessica, you are, uh, you're from uh, the great borough of? Yonkers. Hey, Yonkers, <laughs> not a borough, it's a great city. And, and you're going to uh, be a group leader here in Manhattan, is that right? Yes, it is. We'll tell you, tell you more about that in a sec. Let me sneak by you for just a sec. Therese, where are you from, dear? Uh, Eatontown, New Jersey. Let's hear it for Jersey! Jersey! Jersey in the house. That's right. That's where all the Italians in my family are from. Patterson and Hawthorne, Glen Rock. Yeah, that's right. Italians in New Jersey. Uh, it's an amazing thing. I wanted to ask each of you a question. Reese, may I start with you? Sure. How did you get involved with Dance for Kindness as a group leader? I got involved with Dance for Kindness two years ago um, when Orly spoke at an amazing organization called Think Peace Workshop. Um, last year, my sister, Remy, is over there. Hi, Remy. Uh, <laughs> Um, she was a group leader last year and inspired me to do it this year as she had to leave for college. So yeah, she's I took going over. off to school. Where is she going off to school? Sarah Lawrence College. In Bronxville, New York, my, near my hometown. Yes. Well, thanks so much. Congratulations to you and good luck at Sarah Lawrence as well. Um, Jessica, uh, I wanted to ask you a slightly more personal question, but what did the, the day of the event feel like to you? Last year? Yes, let's go with that. Okay. Um, it was amazing. It was so overwhelming. My sister and I participated together. Um, we showed up for rehearsal. We had no idea what to expect. The room was crowded. There were over 300 dancers there. Um, we showed up to Times Square. The billboards all had our logos on it. Everyone was wearing orange and just the crowds that formed. It was, it was such an overwhelming experience. It was so exciting. It was Really one of the coolest things I've ever done. Now, you're taking over for a group leader here in uh, Manhattan last year. Who's that? Orly herself. Orly Waba. Yeah. Get off the stage. I, I'm kidding. You, you, you see, I was, I, I was kicked off from being the group leader. I was kicked off. What was I going to do? <laughs> you're doing. You're, you're kind of busy. Uh, ter Therese, uh, after doing this, because you've been doing this for how long now? Three years. This is my third year. Three, three years. Yeah, you're kind of the veteran. How about, give her, yes, give her a big hand. Um, I don't know how to put this. After doing this, what did you, what do you feel that you got out of it? Oh my gosh. It's incredible when you can bring people from the community together under the banner of kindness and humanity. It's amazing when you do that. The things that happen are magical. I've had nothing but the best experiences each year. We can't do it without you. We're awfully grateful to you. Thanks for coming back. And give them a big hand. Thank you guys. Thanks so much. Hey, how about those guys? One more hand for the group leaders all around the country, all around the world. 50 countries, over 100 cities. Um, well, you know what's happening on Dance for Kindness Day. Those of you who have already been to the head of the class long before I got there, and that is that there's going to be some dancing. Um, we're very lucky to have a wonderful choreographer, a wonderful gentleman, uh, Anthony Giorgio. Anthony, will you come up? Who's the lead choreographer? Anthony. Hi, everybody. Hey, buddy. Uh, where are you from? Uh, originally Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester, Mass. Yeah, Worcester. That's right. We were talking earlier. Um, uh, it would have been so wonderful if you'd had dancers here tonight to share with us. Uh, it would have been cool. I'm sorry that we couldn't arrange that. Uh, it happens. They don't have any dancers in New York. <laughs> I wanted to just take a moment, and I hope it doesn't embarrass you. I want to read something that we have in our text about you. Is that all right? <laughs> sure. I really appreciate yeah. it. Anthony has been dancing and changing the world since he was eight years old. He has a huge passion for living a life you love and living it to its fullest. His passion for teaching and choreography Pretty smooth, huh? Yeah. Has led him all over the world and all over the age map. He is often quoted saying, teaching all age groups is a great way to spread kindness everywhere, through everyone. Be inspired, and most of all, be kind. We're kidding. Uh, we do have some dancers here tonight, and um, we, were just, we were just playing with you. I'm, I'm going to get the heck off the stage and let Anthony take over. Yeah, yeah, we all want that. And uh, 
please put your hands together for Anthony Giorgio and his wonderful dancers. I'll have you know that it is truly magical. The day of the event, over like 8,000 people. 10,000 last year. Sorry, over 10,000 people. I have to share a story really quick. Recently, I do talk to a lot of the group leaders because they reach out to me about the choreography. I'm like, I can't do it, it's hard. It's fine, it's not hard, it's fun. And most importantly, we're bringing a lot of people together. So, I recently had someone from Thailand reach out to me who runs an orphanage, and the orphanage is doing it. I know. And it was recently my birthday. They sang happy birthday to me, all the kids from the orphanage. That's just a little uh, the icing on the cake. That's what happens with this, this organization bringing everyone together. And I'm so proud to be a part of it. Thank you, dancers. They're awesome. Um, 
And that's all I have to say. Those little things keep happening. The, act, the kindness that is literally sweeping the world. Every year I say when we do Dance for Kindness on November 8th, we're moving the world. We're literally shifting the world of what we're doing. Not just dance, I do agree. Um, um, but it is true. It literally is sweeping the world and it's making a difference. It might not seem that way every time, but it is from the smallest to the tallest. I love all of you very much. All of you matter in this room. Everyone, everyone. It does not matter how big or small you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you. Thank you so much, Anthony, and all the awesome, awesome dancers. Guys, that was, that was amazing. And I got to tell you something. I'm definitely not the dancer. People ask me all the time, well, you know, you organize an event that's called Dance for Kindness. Can you dance? I cannot dance for my entire life. I'm not going to even show you right now. Even though, Anthony, I'm sure you're going to teach me how to do the dance this year. This year, I'll actually do the dance for the first time. So you might be asking the question, how do I register for Dance for Kindness? And yeah, I, I have the answer. Ask, how do you? I know, Peter is one. <clears throat> how do you register for you, uh, Dance You just have to go to danceforkindness.com. Okay. Very easy. Danceforkindness.com, danceforkindness.com slash register. You can register right there. Once you do, you'll receive the link to the Learn the Dance page with the tutorial. It's really nice and slow. Plus, you also get to get Anthony's email address just as an extra perk. It's there. Just saying. He's married, guys. And I'll answer you now. He will answer. He's super awesome. So you can head there. Some of you might be asking the question. I know some people came up to me like, where can I get this awesome music? More light where revolution can, of love. Where can we get the awesome music? Well, thank you so much, Peter, for asking me. You bet. Thank you. And again, all you have to do, Peter, is go to danceforkindness.com. Again, you go to the danceforkindness.com. Guess what? Slash what? And there's a uh, uh, music. No. Slash album. Uh, there you go. You can find guess. us on the iTunes store. It is called Connect. So definitely check it out. We really appreciate all of you being here. I want to thank everybody here. I want to thank our sponsors, Dignity Health, once again, for doing such an amazing job. Uh, all of the rest of our sponsors, like I said, again, you can go to get coupon codes. They're all going to be in the gifted forward bags. Really cool hashtag. coupon codes. Yes. And what is the code? Hashtag DFK. Can you guess the rest? Come on, Peter. Uh, 2015. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can Hashtag go. DFK 2015. That is it. And you'll, you'll it. get uh, you know, different merchandise from iHome to Exist, Good Karma, lots of other cool, cool things. Yes. Yeah. So I want to thank you all for coming out. Peter, I want to thank you for being thank you. here. My pleasure. And I want to remind everyone out there again, danceforkindness.com. Please feel free to take, as you head out, to take your gifted forward bag filled with lots of awesome Swag. goodies. Swag. There's and DFK a free t -shirt. swag here. And free t-shirts? Free oh, t-shirts. We got free, free stickers. We got free acts of kindness cards. Head to the table. Take what you like, guys. And thank you so much. Hope to see you on Sunday, November. November 8th. November Dance 8th. for Kindness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys have, have a good night. incredible. We love you to death.